Hey, it's Ashley. Welcome to Create for Christmas. Today I'm going to show you how to paint an angel. Let's get started. Going to need your canvas. This is an 8 by 10 inch panel. Something to put your paint on. A jar of water. Your variety of brushes. Acrylic paints. I'm using heavy body. And paper towels. So this is going to be a very abstract art piece. It's going to be an angel and we're going to do this rather not detailed at all. So first what we're going to do is we're going to decide what we want for the background color. Now you might want to do a different color but I'm going to do the blues that I really really like and that is blue and yellow and white that I put together and I use less yellow than I do blue and it makes it into a nice kind of bluish green color one of my favorite colors and it's in my house and that's why I'm going to use it. So you can follow along and do it with me or you can decide to do it differently. Okay so what I'm trying to get is really close to my shirt. Okay so that blue. So I need a little bit more blue in there and so I'm really close. See how close I am? And that's how I mix colors, is I find a color that I really like and then I just match it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get all the color off of this brush. Just put it down. And see how some of the yellow is coming through there? That got stuck up in the brush. That's why you should use a palette knife. So now we're going to get our medium brush here. And we're going to start digging into this paint and putting it down. And I'm not going to add very much water to it, but I just want to get this paint onto my canvas. And I'm not going to worry about there being texture on here. I want there to be texture actually because it's an abstract piece and the more texture with an abstract piece the better, I feel. So I'm just going to put this color down and this is going to be my background color. This color looks really good with gold and white. Some of that yellow. And that's going to let some of the different colors come through. And I'm going to just kind of blob it over. And it's going to be the shape of everything's going to be kind of going this direction. So if you follow along. That's where I'm going to have the eye moving. Okay, I'll put some of this glue down. Okay, now you're going to see what I'm going to do in this corner right here. And it's going to make it appear like, you know, there's heavens. This is heavens going on here. Okay, so I'm going to grab some white. And I'm going to keep this blue on my brush, no big deal. and I'm going to get some of this white on my brush not a whole lot but some I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to blotch okay this is going to make it look like there's clouds and that this is lighter over here because it's heaven coming from heaven and I'm not even really going to be specific on how I'm laying this down I'm letting the paint just kind of Show me what it wants. Create what you want, okay? I just want this to be lighter than this over here. And since it's abstract, we're not making this look exactly like clouds. We're just giving the idea. Let's just give the idea of clouds. Let some of those colors shine through. Okay, and now you can wash out your brush and you're going to get out your smaller square brush and then just make sure that's nice and dry. So now you're going to take your white and you're going to basically be kind of giving an idea of where the angel is going to be and you're going to use your flat brush like this and you're just going to kind of flow things 
slow them down like Archie, like this. Kind of like his hair that's coming from one spot right here. This is going to be the angel's wings. You're just following this like that, okay? And yours might be a little different. That's fine. This is an abstract piece. It doesn't matter. Okay, and then this wing right here, I want it to come up like this. Kind of like it's flying just a little bit different back here. Okay, so that's going to give us the flow coming down this way. So here comes the flow, which is going to be this coming down here, like that, okay? See how we make that flow going this direction? Okay, and this is the angel's dress. We're just going to come in here, okay, and remember this is very abstract. And this is the angel over the manger. So having some of this blue in between here, that's perfect. That's what we want. So I'm just going to give it a look like there's some breasts there. <laughs> and then that there's a hand coming out like this. Okay, and the hand's coming from here because this is the back. So this doesn't show really. Okay, and we'll separate this a little more. And then her, she has another arm coming out like this. Okay, see how abstract that is? And just let that kind of come down like that. And that come down like this. Okay, you can soften that a little bit. And this can come out a little bit more. Okay, now for the face. Now we're not getting too detailed with this, remember. So we're going to add in some brownish gold. Okay, and to make a gold, you just add black and yellow together. And I already have that color, so I'm just going to use the color that I have. And then we want a flesh color, and that's going to be with orange and, see, can you see that? Orange and white. So you're barely just going to have a little bit of orange and a lot more white, and that's going to make a flesh color. Okay. And then use your round tip brush for this. You're just going to add a little bit of orange at a time. Okay, now see how peachy that is? All you need to do is add a little bit of this yellow to that. And it will brown it out. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're just going to come in here. And you're going to make the appearance of a neck. Okay, and then a head. So you just want you want the head to be looking down so you're going to have the head going that direction see how you're making the circle looking down okay and then just fill that in see how this looks like the neck just bring that over okay and then just make sure this is nice and solid of a color now since you have some of that peach color right in here, just add a little bit coming in here. Like that. And it'll look like it goes a lot better. Some here. Some over here. Okay. And then this wing needs to come into her back like that. Okay. And this will start looking a little more like wings right here just a little bit. Okay, perfect. Alright, so now you're going to put in the hair and you can have her brunette or blonde, it doesn't matter to me, or black hair, whatever you want. 
I'm going to use brown hair because, hey, I have brown hair, so that's what I'm going to use. So I'm just going to take my orange here and my blue and combine them. Okay, and then I'm getting kind of a brownish color. I just need more orange. Okay. There's my brown color. All right, so now I'm just going to come in here and I'm just giving the idea of hair. Does it matter what it looks like? Not really. My brush is going to take me where it wants to go and I'm just going to kind of cover the head and do that like that. Okay, see how easy that was? I just left this line right here and then I continued to make this the round right here and then let that hang because that's what hair does. I can make this long and wispy if I wanted to. You know, I could add more to it. I'm going to come in here and shape this face a little bit more. I did that. And that will dry to be mostly this color right here that can come in and add the texture back in there throughout so it looks like it belongs. Add a little more white right through here. arch this one a little bit more arched like that one is. Okay, now I'm going to add in another color and that's going to be yellow. I'm grabbing my yellow and yellow is usually very translucent so I'm just going to mix it with some white. I'm going to add a little bit of gold to this yellow makes it a nice gold color. Okay, now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add that to the bottom here. It's going to make it appear shiny and then just kind of come up with it. And then I'm going to use it to separate her bosom here. Okay, and then take some gold, just get it on the inside here. Okay, see how that worked? Okay, and then I'm going to use the gold. You know, instead of doing like the normal circular halo, I'm going to kind of just make this go around her head like this. You know, kind of make it glow just around her head a lot. Like this. Come out. And I'm using a dry brush technique, so I hardly have any color on my brush right now. I'm just going to drag some of that color out a little ways. See how I do that? See how that works? And you're just adding just a little bit out there. Okay, see how that works? Now, you can come in here with your round brush and grab some of that stronger yellow. Make sure your brush is nice and clean. And then just kind of add that a little more detailed. Okay. And we're in fact almost done with this. So now we're just kind of coming through and looking and seeing what it needs. So we need more white right here to make this look like an arm. Just kind of drag this white down. And 
And this is really all it is. It's, if you wanted to, you could add a little wispy coming out this way. some water add a little bit down here okay, if you want to you can take your brush your flat brush just add some lines and then you can soften those just dragging your brush across them you can decide if that's something you want now I'm going to add just a little bit of brown down here now you're barely even going to see it, but it's just going to make that hair look like it belongs. I'm just going to add it to the bottom and just a few, just a little bit of it. Okay. So on this mostly is the white. Come in here and drag that. Okay, and that is actually it. So if you see anything that you want to change, go ahead. But I'm going to go ahead and sign my work and I'm just going to use the white and sign it down here. Okay, and you're done. Here's the finished angel painting. I hope that you had fun and I hope this was relaxing. Be sure to head over to createflart.com and subscribe so that I can send you these free lessons every week. Thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing, and I will see you soon with another Christmas art project. Bye!